Has the intro over? No, the intro's not over. Keep rolling! Ah, keep rolling! <laughs> you knew it was gonna happen. Intro's in HD. You knew it was gonna happen. Keep the music rolling! Let the music play! Don't stop! Don't stop! We're not ready to start yet! Keep it going, buddy! <laughs> Or say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. Some shout outs in order. First one, Venom 1413 from the Fate Clan. Shout out to you guys. It is Action X. We're going to watch a great game. Seriously, we're going to watch a, a really. No bullshit. This is the No Bullshit Channel. When I say there's going to be a great game, there's going to be a great game. But just a few more shout outs before we get into it. Uh, F. Grimes and Chunky Kawi Paws. Who the hell are they? Well, they are a father and daughter who play World of Tanks together. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fantastic? And the father has been a Klaus Kellerman uh, follower for a long time. And I've never been able to show a replay from these two because they play on console. And the father has uh, uh, supported me on my Patreon page and sent me a message. Could you please shout us out? My daughter would love it. Of course, of course I could shout you out. Shout out to you two! And I think he likes to watch my tank videos, but his daughter, her favorite video is uh, one called How to Clean Yourself Up, which has nothing to do with tanks. Have you ever seen that one? Uh, it goes something like so this. if you want to clean yourself up a little bit, you know, you gotta... You need the right tools, so... Uh, is there something on my face? A new Klaus! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, uh, if you haven't seen that one, just search how to clean yourself up on the internet and uh, for some reason it pops up as the number one search. Go figure. But anyway, shout out to F. Grimes and Crunchy Cowie Paws and thanks for your support on my Patreon page. Well, let's get right into it here. Who are we watching? It's Venom 1413 from the Fate Clan. It is Action X. Did I mention that? This is the guy that's playing the game. I mean, he plays on PC and we've actually got his game. And it is one hell of a game. One great game. And what has he done so far while I've just been doing some shoutouts? He's almost up to 3,000 damage and he's got one kill. Playing this little ridge line. It's, uh, it's one of those encounter games where the, uh, the base is in the south. The, the base you have to capture. So everyone goes north. <laughs> This is the meta. This is what happens almost every time. I don't get it because when it's a regular game with two bases, the teams distribute themselves across the map, a lot of them going south. But when it's an encounter and the base is in the south, nobody goes south. It just, uh, maybe because they spawn on the north and no one really likes to drive. Whatever. Anyway, let's watch this. Let's not get distracted by uh, small little things that are not important. Oh my finger, come on. I know you want to. Yeah. Let's do our best to just concentrate on the game and watch him get another shot here. Working this ridge line like a boss. Look at him here. He's just poking over, using the gun to pressure. Oh, he got a nice shot on the side there. Now, I played my uh, Centurion Action X. I haven't played a lot of games in it, but I'm, I'm having trouble with it because you see how he's just barely showing his turn and he just bounced the shot there. I tend to move too far up and show my hull and get easily penetrated because this thing does not have very good armor except for the turret and you have to use the full uh, I think it's 10 degrees of gun depression on this thing to make it work like look at this he's just poking over and backing up and the enemies bouncing off his turret because he's not showing any of his hull and if you look at the minimap he is right up there there's enemies right beside him on his right they're just on the other side of this little sand dude. You see him right there? They would have to poke over to shoot him. And I guess, uh, I'm looking at the minimap. If they did, there's not a lot of his teammates that are ready to shoot them back. But they're scared because, well, I guess there are. There's some enemies that would shoot them if they poked over. But if they rushed him, he would be dead. But sometimes the safest place to be is right beside the enemies, just on the other side of some cover. If you're far away... It's all about angles, right? When you poke over a ridge line like this, this guy that's far away, he can shoot him. These guys that are really close, they're safer because he has to go right over top of this ridge line to shoot the guys that are really close to him. And vice versa. You see? You see? So sometimes, being really close to the enemy like he is to these two guys on his right, it's no problem if you have backup. I'm looking at the minimap and I see a lot of his team in that 
kind of the riverbed, the, the, the low area. I think they've got the enemies outnumbered down there. Maybe if they push, they could win that, but maybe not. Maybe not all the enemies are spotted. You have to count the dots. Counting the dots is another thing that helps you win and let them take another shot on an enemy side. It looks like this spot. Uh, he just has line of sight all the way up the hill there. And he can actually just keep pounding his gun over and over and over and over again at these guys. Luckily, he has a lot of ammunition. Now let's try and make this shot count. He's got to get rid of this T-50. And he missed again. He missed again. But he's trying. Uh-oh. There's someone behind him. Oh, ho, he just took one up the ass. A big hit. Now what the hell are his teammates doing? How come they're not backing him up? All those guys, I guess they're in that river bed and they couldn't take a shot on that guy? That was the leopard, wasn't it? Did he just get hit by a leopard? No, he got hit by an object. What the fuck? That's why it was such a high roll of damage. It wasn't a leopard. It wasn't 390 damage. It was it was a lot more than that. How did that uh, enemy poke up there and hit him without being shot by his teammates? But anyway, okay, let's keep watching. He's still poking this ridgeline. He's going to stay on this ridgeline. And, and why not? There's a, it's a target-rich environment. Can he finally get this T-57 heavy? Can he finally do it? Oh, do not penetrate their armor. Okay, is he going to switch it up to premium ammo? No, nope, he's still firing the regular shit. Oh, there's, this guy's in the open. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Can he take the shot? Yes. Enemy is hit. Enemy is hit. Every time the enemies try and make a move here in this northern area, he pokes the ridge line and takes a shot on them. And yeah, he's finally got that T-57 heavy. That guy was a pain in the ass. He kind of had him pinned down here. And if he ever got tracked or poked up uh, in an in a open spot, that T-57 heavy would have just, you know, just with his four shots, would have just taken him out. So now he's probably uh, uh, feels a little better knowing the auto loader has been taken care of. And, oh, he missed that shot. He missed that. I, did. I do that too in this tank. It's got a really accurate gun, but I, I miss a lot. Well, maybe that's why we're watching his replay and not mine. Uh, because he's already got more damage than I've ever got on my, uh, in my Centurion action accident. Oh, oh, how did that? Who did he get hit by? He got hit by the E-50, just snapped him through the turret. Well, the E-50M does have 270 mils of penetration, so maybe got a little bit lucky there. And now he got lucky. He switched it up to premium ammo. And I l the E-50M, regular uh, APCR, it shoots APCR, regular ammo, 270 pence. So you got to watch that thing. It does tend to penetrate. And what was I saying? Yeah, he's already got more damage than I've ever got in my Action X. He's over 6,000 now. And uh, there's still a lot of enemies. And he's still on the same ridge line. He's lost a lot of HP, and he's not relocating. I mean, there's still a lot of targets here. There's one right there. And he's, he likes to fight people frontally and just use his gun depression. He's kind of a master at this gun depression thing. He doesn't flank around or try and shoot him up the ass. He just, he fights them from the front, but he just barely, oh, that one did not, well, that's a Russian Coppola, Russian turret. He hit that uh, turret in the side for the first shot, but not... Not frontally. Oh, here goes the Jagdpanzer E100. Takes a thousand damage to move into. T That's a good use of your HP. And goes for the ramp. What? What? He didn't shoot? Oh, he did shoot. He traded a thousand HP for that shot and is dead. That's a way to go. And now make this one count. Oh, he made it. Yeah, you see how we aim for the weak spot there? Not the lower plate, not the tracks. The little uh, uh, on the turret, the, the edge there, the little flat. You know, I don't know how to explain it, but the, those, that rear-mounted tank, the, the little, there's a spot there on the turret that when it's angled like that is flat to you, and he shot that. And now he's moving, because now he knows he's not going to get hit. There's still a guy up on the hill, and there's a couple of guys in the base here, and he's, oh, that, oh he bounced, he bounced a thousand! The, okay, all right, so there, there is some luck involved, buddy, some luck, he bounced. <laughs> He bounced a thousand. His Jagdpanzer E100 drove up and, and gave away a thousand HP to, to get one shot. And this enemy, Jagdpanzer E100, actually took the shot but bounced a thousand. So there you go, the big German team. And he bounced another thousand! He bounced another thousand! 
And now this guy's got a long reload, so he gets to farm some more. He likes to fight these guys frontally. He does not believe in flanking. He wants to just fight the big TDs from the front. And because... Like, okay, there is luck in bouncing the shots. There is luck. Uh, but also, he, he's not just driving completely in the open where they, you know, they can just shoot his hull. They've had to take some snapshots at his turret and I guess just glanced or ricocheted off the edge of the turret. It counts as a bounce. <laughs> and still, he wants to fight him frontally. He does not want to, like, drive around. Or, but he's not foolish enough to die now. Look at this. He's over 9,000 damage, and he's not going to... Don't throw away your tank now. Don't throw away your tank now. Oh, he actually did not penetrate that. And not, he did not get the kill, but holy shit. Let, let's look at the post-game stats on this. Victory. Let's look at these numbers. Oh, yeah. Let the music play. Look at that. Over 9,000. I'll never get 9,000 in my Action X. Well, maybe. If I do, I'll show it. But I have it up till now. And of course, he lost credits, because why the fuck not? 9,000 damage, and he lost credits. Oh, yeah! Let's watch that intro again. Huh? What do you think of the HD intros? Hoo-ha! Oh, yeah! You're going to see a lot more of these in the future on Klaus 1.0 HD because of the new system funded through the help of my Patreons like F. Grimes and Crunchy Cowie Paws. Shout out to all of you. Shout out to everyone who supported the channel. This is Klaus's World, baby! Pull my finger. Come on. I know you want to. Huh? There it is. There it is. Pull it. Oh, 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 there it is.